So, hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of Victini X Plays Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. So we've been on this game for like 38 minutes and 45 seconds now. Let's get to chapter 3, Pirates Aground. Pirates do not sound very threatening in a game like Fire Emblem. I mean, most of the time you have this evil force or something. Pirates are like, man, we can get rid of them in like, probably like, one chapter? Yeah, that works. Ooh, okay. We've had this father now. Hmm. Uh oh. This, this sounds bad. This sounds bad. Hmm. Okay, I'm the one who should be part. They're all taking the blame now. Look, look, this is what happens in every single game. So cliche. Confined to quarters for 10 days. What does that mean I'm. Oh, this is just sad. Okay. Ha. Nice. Oh, I'm going with the powerful guys now, but but I don't want to go with you. I I don't want to. I want Boyd, and I want Boyd. Boyd is like the most useful dude, along with Ike. I don't know. Do I not get Boyd? Oh, this this is just sad. <clears throat> like I don't need Shannon and Gatry at this point of the game and I don't plan on using titania at all so we now have oh there's an actual ship there's like an actual ship that's that's nice move out woohoo so Ooh, I get to whoa. This is nice. So ooh. Let me just say this. Whoa. This is crazy. I've got these overpowered units that I can use. And I'm probably just gonna be using I true up. I mean Gatry we can train. Shinan we should not. I'll be training Gatry and maybe Ike. Ike first, then Gatry. <clears throat> oh, good. We can finally move things around. Um, you should give Ike the steel sword in exchange with Iron One. I think Gatry should be able to use. Oh, he can't. I will. I will. So we have 15 parrots and 4 of us and we need to defeat the boss. That works. That works for me. That works for me. So, let's fight. So, this now was an advanced screen. You can reposition your unit, but I didn't do it because I didn't have to. Right? So, It should be safe enough for me to go ahead and attack these guys, right? Yeah, should be. Technically, there should be nothing bad that would happen if I attack them. That is... 
I hope we can have Gatry take it to the right. You see, he can double, and that's just how crazy he is. That's just how crazy he is. He can double. He's a knight. He's supposed to be slow, and he misses. Good, good job, Gatry. Good job. Then again, everybody here is like level two or something, so no big deal, actually. Right, let's move you to over here, and then we can end the turn. Please, nobody die. Wait, oh no, oh no, ah no, don't worry, I can, I can live, hopefully. Okay, so, um, Gatry sh should, uh, yes, yes, he does it, which is good for me, so, I really scared of Ike dying. It's an ent entire. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. You guys are going for Shinon. Okay. Shinon, it is then if you must. I'm thinking of going after the arrow guy now. So let's. Nothing wrong with doing that, right? I mean. Man, I realized how screwed up I was. Man, this is heavy. So, basically, if you hold a steel sword, you can't double, at least for Ike. Ike can't double because he's too slow. To do that, I did not finish my sentence just now. So, basically, if you wield steel weapons, even though they are more powerful than iron weapons, they are also heavier, which means, yeah, you basically won't be able to do much if you are too slow. I'll be going with Iron Lance because that's still a good weapon for our have crazily overleveled gadgetry. Shinon and Titania should be just there. And I really miss having Rise. Yeah. They're still heading for Ike. Like, they can't even do anything to him and they're are heading for Ike. So, no, not, not Shinon. It's nearly impossible for any of them to hurt Shinon or Gatry. Like, literally impossible. Literally impossible because Titania can go and visit. I'm gonna let her do that. <clears throat> oh, you. Well, basically, he's an important person in the game. I won't spoil too much, even though I know I'm spoiling a lot. There goes. And maybe it should actually put Shinon in the middle of everything. Just to protect Ike. Because Ike looks like he might die. I'm, I'm just scared Ike might die. It's an entire possibility. Nice, so now they're all going for Shinon. Who cannot die. Like, it's literally impossible for him to die. I mean, yeah, literally impossible. So, Ike can take out that guy. I think Gatry should be safe with you. 
Shinon should stay there, obviously. He might want to bring Titania into the fray. So everything's good. I'm gonna explain why because the NPC characters are pretty stupid. Let's say that enemy AI is very, very, very bad. So basically, their first choice of target is somebody who is armless. And if they can't find enemy who's armless, they attack people who have a weapon triangle disadvantage. Meaning, if they could kill you in one hit, they won't. If there's someone else in there that they apparently have an advantage against, but obviously won't. Uh, I should I should heal. <laughs> I'm just not not gonna be taking unnecessary risk. Too dangerous. So Shinan cannot die. I don't think Titania can die either, right? But well, they're all going for Shinan because. Oh Ike. Oh okay. So oh okay, he misses. That's everything's good. Crisis averted. So. These bandits can't do anything. In theory, they can't do anything to us because basically we have awesome hits, awesome avoid, and over over leveled units. Now I'm thinking I should put Gatry to the side. Maybe let Ike soak up the kills. So. I'll come back once Ike finishes off all these enemies. Hopefully nothing bad happens. So yeah. <coughs> and we're back. So we finally got the last pirate down to 1 HP. Shinon nearly died, but I had him retreat, so nothing bad happened. 3 HP, that's Absolutely scary. Well, this guy hasn't had all all these have hand axes. Oh man. So if you don't know you can throw hand axes. Basically, you can attack people from two range. Basically, if you have like a sword, if others like a bow, they can attack. Like if you stand here, they can attack people over here. And if you hold the sword, you can only attack people right next to you, you can't attack him. So, hand axe is basically a bow plus a sword. You can attack here, you can also attack here. Yeah, absolutely crazy. You might lure them in with Titania first, I don't know. Thing is, I don't think this guy moves at all. Even though he can, I don't think he moves. Oh, who are you? What? What? Marcia? Huh. Hmm. Okay. So. Basically, we have this Marcia girl who I guess is our side. I guess. I just hope she doesn't die. Oh man, what are you doing? Are they gonna kill her? Oh, man. Oh, oh man. It's scary. They could in fact actually kill her. Oh, man. That, this is terrible. Oh, okay. She's fast. And from the looks of it, very over leveled too. I mean, let me just. Okay, here, level 5. Oh man. Can we quit her with Titania? We can't. We need to get Ike there. ASAP.
this is called shoving. Basically, if you move someone beside, and if his weight is a little bit more than the person he's shoving, he will be able to shove, which is nice, I guess. Let's just put Titania in the midst of everything and have everybody go attack her. Instead of Marcia, because, hey guys, she's not holding anything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You you are kidding me, right? So one thing that's so bad about this game is that you can't speed up. You can't speed up the battle animations. Meaning, even though they are on um, overworld, it's still terrible. Alright, so this is when I'm gonna break everything and have Gatry attack this guy. We need to make sure Marcia lives, right? Although I'm really hoping Gatry doesn't miss. Please, please don't miss Gatry, please. Please, uh, please, please. Yes, yes, he didn't miss. Okay, this is great. I got a hand axe that I can't use. I think Shinon can shove. Yes, he can. I think Titania can also shove. Oh. She can't. Also, um, apparently people are... Oh, stop healing, you coward. Apparently, the others are... Okay, good. They are finally going for Ike, which is a stupid thing to do. Period. Um, Marcia is not moving. Let's just talk to her. Hopefully you can requit her. So... Yeah, of course we're gonna help you. Why not? Hmm. So she now flies away. Good job. I thought I wish would be able to requit her or something, but apparently no. This this is just sad. Ooh, critical. Nice hit. Ike, nice hit. So Should be able to lure them in with the position Titania there. Right? Can position Gatry here. And Shinon just somewhere out of range. Where he can still help if things go horribly wrong. Ha! <laughs> you should know better than to mess with Gatry. Woohoo! So there's Gatry who reached level 10 and also gets a boundary and here's Titania who is getting... Oh no I forgot to unequip her! Oh, oh man. That's experience wasted I guess. That Titania. And at the same time, we can move Ike and himself. And, um, Ike's gonna get flanked here. Let's just say this Ike is gonna get flanked here. So, yeah. Yeah, Ike is gonna get flanked, but... Ouch! 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 That hurts. That hurts! Oh no, please don't die. Phew. Okay, I was very scared. 
you know, if something bad happens to Oh no. Right, that stuff is happening. What should I do? Right. What we can do is make it so that I still can live a couple shots. So he's pretty much out of range right now, right? He still has time to get back on his feet, hopefully. Unless Titania dies too. Oh, okay. She doesn't die. Good. Good for me. Good for me. I mean, we're nearing the end of this chapter and... And okay, let's move everybody out of here. Which one of you has the hand axe? You, right? Huh. Right. We need to optimize boundaries. I know we need to optimize boundaries, but now's not the time for that. Now we are all in deep trouble. Draw the guy with the hand axe first. So he's gonna come for Titania. Very consent, retreat back. And hopefully get a No, so we need to bring Titania all the way to the back. One, two, three, four, five. If we bring Titania all the way to here, she would technically be able to. Unless he goes for Ike, of course. Which is entirely possible and something he's doing. So there, well, he keeps Titania occupied. I can take on this guy over here. Who has a terrible chance of? Oh, you have like twenty percent, and you hit. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Under, can you shove Gatry? You can't. So, protective measures here now. They're gonna prevent I from being flanked. Right, so we need to put them in this order so they cannot hit Ike. And obviously, Shinon dodges because 
that's his job, right? I would never get this game's logic. Doesn't even make sense. Doesn't even make sense. Okay, right, I'll think of something and I'll come back. Alright, it seems I'm still recording. So, I guess I'm fine. I guess I'm fine. <clears throat> I should be able to take out these guys right here. Just fine. Right, and then the rest you can deal with later. Shannon, Getri, and Titania are there as just for distracting the boss because. If he hits Ike, Ike has a high chance of dying. Really high chance of dying. I'm also burning through the iron sword. No, I finally get why they gave Ike so many iron swords in the beginning. It makes sense. I'm gonna feed the boss to Ike because... Hey, it's Ike. So, I was wondering, would Ike be able to survive and confrontation with him should be able to but just in case I'm saving 21% is almost non-existent right now so 19% still and he can't move anywhere because me and Shinan has got him trapped so basically he can't go anywhere good enough for me he must attack me at one range, and yeah, he chooses to choose. He chooses to attack Shinon because, unlike me, Shinon actually doesn't have anything equipped. While I can attack him back if he decides to attack me. So yeah, everything's good, and he's still going for Shinon. Oh, it's almost over almost over now and it should be the last even if I get hit nothing bad should happen technically and yes yes so yeah that's how easy this is and I get to level 10 or 9 is it 9 okay it's not bad but uh boy needs to get some catching up next so we beat the pirates. Good. And I guess that's all for this episode. I really don't know what's gonna be going on next episode. But hopefully it's nothing to do with pirates. Next episode we'll be focusing on training Boyd. Maybe Gatry. No, Boyd first. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, stuff. And we'll see you again for chapter 4, Roadside Battle. Um, no, I kind of just skipped something. So, let's catch up on the story first, and then we'll come back to this. Mm. As a bonus, you guys get to see Shinon and Titania in action. 
nice animations. So I accidentally skipped this cutscene. So now we're gonna go back and see it. Nice. So we've driven off all the pirates. Nice. Oh, we get pay. Nice. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Oh, uh, come on, what do you mean a band of children? We are not a band of children. So, we get pay. It's nice. Especially Commander Grill, okay? So, hmm. In the service of the Crimean throne. That sounds nice. Come on, let's, let's just go march up and demand us to be the national army or something, right? We can we can beat anything. Okay. Ha <laughs> Yeah, Shinan, you nearly died. You owe me. I'm the best tactician ever. J O K ing. Okay. You don't need to make it so clear. Ha. <laughs> Man, Gatchery, man. Hmm. So, I guess. Nice. Shinan does not look happy and right stuff stuff you're not saving and that's that so four I guess next time